At the start of his career, Pat Cummins was a young tearaway fast bowler that could bowl up to 150 Ks. He made a stunning debut in Test cricket, grabbing six wickets in South Africa's second innings, where he most notably made a lasting impression on the analysts and players alike when he worked over legendary batsman Jacques Callas. The early parts of his career were blighted with foot and back injuries. Up until 2015, he suffered stress fractures of the back on four different occasions, limiting his appearances for the Australian team. In his own words, he doubted if his body would ever be able to stand up to the rigours of Test cricket. Fast forward to the present, he's the captain and leader of the bowling attack and is the number one Test bowler in the world. Here we'll be looking at the changes to his bowling action. As Pat Cummins loads up, you can see that he used to load up with his right bowling arm being away from the body. In his more recent bowling action, you can see he keeps the ball closer to the body which will assist in the overall alignment moving straight through the crease. In 2011, Cummins had a much more pronounced high jump that moved in one direction and as he completes his action, he exerts his body to bend away from the momentum of his jump. In the present, he has a much shorter jump and jumps straighter towards the crease and target. Cummins' current back foot placement is more stable and allows him to maintain a more upright frame as he moves into his action. As he lands on the front foot, his body is already leaning and falling away to the offside in 2011. In his old action, you can see how the alignment of his body is angled away from the target, whereas in the present example, his alignment is much straighter. As he pulls through his action, his head is falling away, while on the right, the theme of alignment and straightness continues with the head position being straighter in his current action. 